Hello everyone again. So, well, we are going to buy the next four companies. I would like to say, well, the guy you are seeing in the image is called Michael Burry. The ones who are doing a little bit of finance, you know him. He's a hedge fund manager. Uh, he's managing uh, Estion Capital Management. Um, he says something very interesting during summer. Well, we are in auto now in September, but in summer he said mm, the IPS contraction is going to happen now, so he expects the market to keep dropping, let's say another 15 to 20 percent, yeah, from the numbers we have today. So the kind of companies I'm looking to buy, it has to be solid um, and it ha some, one of them at least, has a negative beta, that is very important as well. And I'm looking to buy companies still with a high yield, uh, so in a while the rest of the market could drop. These companies at least are going to maintain um, uh, the, the portfolio up somehow. Uh, but yeah, what he's saying is very important because I believe what he's saying is true. Uh, as soon as the companies start to give numbers, um, the results are not going to be very good and obviously the stock market is going to keep dropping a little bit more. So, this is one thing. Then another thing I want to show you is obviously we are in a beer market. The beer market on average, as you can see in the bottom, this is a... This is a chart from Jardine Research. On average, is 344 days, medium 240. What is more important is the average, so it's 344, let's say one year, from the peak. The peak was in Christmas last year, 2021. So that means we are still a few months away to reach the bottom. All right, so we are still a few months to reach the bottom. Uh, ideally, we can we can wait a little bit to buy. You know, but this is just information I want to share. You can do whatever you want. This is not financial advice in any way. Right. So what we are going to do now is start the shopping all right so first company i want to buy is this the this company tootsie roll as you can see here is a negative beta so a negative beta long story short is when the stock market go down this company stay stable or even go up so that's what i'm look what we are looking for i'm going to buy 25 as usual sending the order this might take a minute well this company is giving a dividend for over 55 years so we're talking serious business here all right now the next company we are going to buy is one of my favorite companies why one of my favorite companies because this company Right, I cannot buy this company because, yes, yeah, well, Standard & Poor's uh, Global um, is, is what I call like a foundation that it has to be in every single portfolio, this kind of companies, Standard & Poor's, Lowest, um, Moody's, you know, there are, there are more, um, MSCE, um, well, Stanley, for example, Altria, you know, there are, there are some companies it has to be in every single portfolio because of the quality of the business, you know, so let's talk and just buy. What's happening with the Standard & Poor's Global is, do you know when countries need money, for
for example, and the the countries, the governments, they do debt, yeah. So this this company is telling the investors if the if the debt of this country is good or bad, you know that's the power of this company. This this company has a lot of power, and just um, three or four companies can do this: Standard and Poor's, Moody's, Fitch are the most important ones. Uh, it has been delivered a dividend for over over fifteen years, so let me tell you, is is good. Now we are going to buy a little bit more of I can. Let's find it. Where are you? We are going to buy another twenty five. Remember, Icon is from the hedge fund manager Cal Icon. This is still giving us a 13% yield, and it has been giving yield for a while. So this company is good. The lowest Icon, yes. Right. Let's carry on now. The last one is Altria. Altria, as you know, is the tobacco company. Malvoros saying there. Um, yeah, this company was famous tobacco brands including Malboro and Philips as you can see here, dividend yield is 8.36 P ratio, this is wrong, I think I, I got the P ratio of 9, but anyway you need to find your own information, I'm gonna buy 25, I'll have available 24. Let's buy it. All right, twenty four point five. Twenty four. Okay. Okay. Um, this video is gonna finish now. I will make a, a, a few more comments during the week. Maybe I will make another video. Give my vision about the market. Um, let's see if we can keep beating the Standard and Poor's 500 and the major index. So you are seeing how I do it. See you soon. Bye bye.